It was a creed written into the founding documents that declared the destiny of a nation. Yes, we can. It was whispered by slaves and abolitionists as they blazed the trail toward freedom. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. It was sung by immigrants as they struck out the distant shore of pioneers and pushed westward against the unforgiving wilderness. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. It was the call of workers organized, women who reached for the ballots. A president who chose the moon as our new frontier. And a king who took us to the mountaintop and pointed the way to the promised land. Yes, we can to justice and equality. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Please stand and join me as we honor our country by reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much. Where family incomes were actually lower 
as a percent uh, when you adjust for inflation than when the economic expansion started. Now, so part of the reason that I decided to run was because I thought that the size of our challenges did not strip the capacity for broken politics to solve. But also because I was betting on you, the American people. There's no challenge we can't we can meet. There's no destiny we cannot fulfill. And I am here to report, Green Bill, that after 15 months, after traveling to 47 states, after speaking to hundreds of thousands of people, after shaking hundreds of thousands of hands, after kissing hundreds of babies, I am here to report that my bet has paid off. My faith in the American people has been broken. Because now I know people are saying, we are ready for change, we want to try something new, we are ready to turn the page, and we're going to be in American history. You know, as I've traveled across the country, in every election we've been seeing, record turnout, especially among young people. Young people have been getting involved like never before. But those of us who are young at heart, we've also been excited. We've also been getting involved. And I would like to take all the credit for it, but I have to admit that part of the reason everybody's so excited is they know that no matter what else happens, when they go to that polling place in November, the name George W. Bush will not be on the ballot. The name of my cousin, Dick Cheney, will not be on the ballot. That was really embarrassing. Some of you heard the news. We had, we had this in relations in common. I'm not going to be going to that family hunting party. <laughs> what that means is, is that the era of Karl Rove politics and Scooter Libby Justice and Brownie incompetence, the failed policies that gave us Katrina, wireless wiretaps, all that potentially is over. And I don't know about you, but I think it's about time we made college affordable for every young person. A public college education, to at least tuition. But, you know what, young people, you're going to have to get something back in return. It won't be for free. You've got to put some time in community service or national service. Work at a homeless shelter, work at a veterans home, join the Peace Corps. We're going to invest in you, you invest in America, together we're going to move this country forward. Get into the prison system, and instead they stay on the track to success.